Well, I know I'll probably wake up tomorrow with a few extra gray hairs, but... <laughs> so did all Patriot fans. The Raiders were the only TD of the snowy and sloppy first half. Finally, some New England offense in the third quarter, but Brady missed two open receivers as the Patriots had to settle for a field goal. He might have a, you know, a bad play here or there. He certainly had a couple today, but, you know, he, he battled right through them. But Oakland added a pair of field goals. New England down 13-3 starting the fourth, and the Patriots went with the no-huddle offense. I think a lot of times as a quarterback, you get into a rhythm. You know, you start seeing the coverage, the configuration of the, of, you know, their secondary, and, and... You get comfortable knowing where the pressure's coming from, and you know you just get a feel for the drops and the throws. After going nine for nine on the drive, Brady finally got the Pats into the end zone. I wanted to spike that thing hard, and, and as I was spiking it, my foot kind of slipped, and I figured I'm going down with the ball. So Down 13-10, the defense came up huge on third and one with just over two minutes to go. That gave Brady one more chance, a chance he apparently had fumbled away but enter the NFL replay rule. Yeah, I was throwing the ball. <laughs> Looking at the left, throwing it, I was gonna throw it, and he hit me as I was throwing. <laughs> How do you like that? And it was ruled a fumble. You see, when the arm is going forward, it's an incomplete pass unless the quarterback actually tucks the ball to his body. You know, it was a bad feeling. It was hurting pretty bad, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, they're reviewing it and gave us kind of a, a ray of hope, and once they overturned it, the team just kind of picked up that and just said, hey, listen, let's just win this thing right now. Let's take it down there. Let's do it. And the Pats took advantage, but it would still take a monumental field goal effort in the snow. We didn't have any choice. Yeah, we didn't have any choice. Sure, I mean, it was a tough kick. You can't get any tougher than that, kicking in four inches of snow. Adam Vinatieri with a 45-yard attempt for the Patriots. He needs to make this one for New England's season to continue in overtime. And it is good! Looks like we got overtime! I, I kind of line-drived it, but when I when I looked up, I knew it was going to be straight enough. I had to wait a little while to see if it was going to be long enough, and, and then it was uh, time to be happy after that. You know, to be able to score 10 points there in the, in the fourth quarter, you know, it took a lot, but you know, our guys have been fighting like that all year, and they just, they, they don't know any other way. I'm telling you, that's a, that's a tough group of guys in that locker room over there. And the Pats got the first possession of overtime and marched right into winning field goal range. Vinatieri, who sent the game to overtime with a chance to win it from 22 yards out. The New England Patriots are going to the AFC Championship game. A dramatic 16-13 overtime win in Foxborough. I'm speechless. <laughs> You're never speechless. Never die. Never die. It's destiny right here. We got a good team. Everybody needs to believe in it, but we believe in ourselves. Hey, it's just slow. <laughs> Who are playing in this weather? What a comeback by the offense. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We work hard and we just do, do what we've been doing all year. Never quit. Never quit. Long snapper Lonnie Paxton even did some snow angels. This is my first one. This is going to be the best. Oh, baby, it feels so good.